Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, today we are doing part eight of our revision series, and I hope all of you are working very hard for your upcoming examinations. We move on to the first question. Predict the output of system dot out dot print l and double dot parse double sixty one point two five within double quotes plus zero point seven five. Children, this sixty one point two five. If you notice, this is written within double quotes. That means it is a string. Any constant which is written within double quotes is a string. And double dot parse double. If any string is written, but the values are numeric. So if the numeric value is written as string type. then this statement will convert that into its double data type right this will convert into the primitive data type that is double if integer dot parse integer is written then primitive data type int will be there right so here when it is doing parsing double dot parse double 61.25 so it will be converted into double type 61.25 as double data type and you have to add 0.75 to this so if you add this as string plus 0.75 it will not be added but since now it is converted to double data type so it can be added and here you will get the answer as 62.0 so this is your correct answer we move on to the next question here also similar i have taken but here i have not used double dot parse double or integer dot parse int right here 61.25 this is string and after this this is a real constant so 6 61.25 will be written as it is and whatever is written after that that also will be written as it is so answer will be 61.250.75 so this is your correct answer i hope it is clear to you right children what is the value returned by function compared to if the first string is smaller or less than the string compared in compare to we write one string before compare to function and one after compare to within the bracket right so if the first string is smaller or less than the second one then what will be the result always compare to function returns the int value less than 0 greater than 0 or 0 if both are equal then always the answer is 0 and always it is first minus second right so if first is small and second is bigger the answer will be always negative so the answer is less than 0 if the first one is bigger bigger minus smaller will be positive but first one is smaller minus bigger is always negative right the next one system dot out dot print ln math dot max math dot seal and here if you see math dot max function is used for these two values which you will get after using seal and floor function and here if you notice math dot seal and floor both the functions use the same values 10.23 in previous videos also i told you seal means upper floor means niche right so math dot seal and floor minus 10.3 ke aas paas wale kaun se do integers hain one is minus 11 just isse pehle aur just iske baad hai minus 10 right iske aas paas ke do integers but the return type of seal and floor is always double so we will put a zero so math dot seal seal nearest highest value is the nearest highest value kya hai minus 10.0 or math dot floor mein nearest lowest value kya hai minus 11.0 and when you will apply math dot max function max function returns the maximum of the given two values minus 10 and minus 11 which one is bigger minus 10.0 is the correct answer the next one which of the following is the smallest integer data type children for integer also we have four primitive data types byte short long and int right aur isme sabse choti kaun si hai byte the range for storing the values in byte is from minus 128 to 127 This is the range which we can store in byte data type, right, children? The next one, a while loop in Java executes the statement at least once, even the condition is not satisfied. While is which type of loop? Entry controlled loop, right? So, अगर उसमें condition true नहीं होगी, तो loop के अंदर ही नहीं जाएगा, right? So, this is false. So, it will not execute even once. 
predict the output again int a equals to new int 10 the array a is declared of size 10 system dot out dot print ln a2 second subscript value so what will be the output syntax error runtime error 0 or minus 1 because here there is no initialization but children here when the array is declared and the type is int right then the default values of that data type are assigned to all the elements of this array right so a2 may be kya hoga 0 hoga so your correct answer is 0 right the next one predict the output again int x equals to 1 3 5 7 9 11 and print you have x2 Sabse pehle, you should always give the subscript value here otherwise you are going to make mistake x2 x2 is 5 plus plus but here it is post increment post increment mein kya hota hai? 5 use hoga a2 ki value ke hai 5 use hogi or after using this 5 here it will be incremented and it will become 6 further in the same expression if it is used then it will be used as 6 then plus 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 x4 x4 is 9 but here it is free increment so first it will be changed it will become 10 and plus x2 now what is the value of x2 it was 5 but after using 5 it is now incremented and it is 6 here so your correct answer is 21 i hope it is clear a little tricky but good question right which of the following return statement is wrong return 0 Kar sakte hai, sahi hai. return a correct return for correct return a comma b is a wrong statement children if you notice here here return a a is written within bracket and here the value is written without bracket both are valid both are correct syntax right but with return we can always use only one value either constant or variable so two are not possible so this is a wrong statement right the next one if a function has four return statements अगर एक function में हमने चार return statements दिए हैं, how many of them will be executed? कितने execute होंगे? One, two, three, four और एक भी नहीं होगा. Children always one. So irrespective of the number of return statements given in a function, only one will be always executed because return will take you back to its caller module. और caller में चला गया, then you cannot come back to the next statement whatever is written in the function body, right? The next question, write the Java expression for. Children, this sign is for absolute value. In maths also, you have used this absolute. And here also, we have the function math.abs. So, whenever you see this symbol, please use the function math.abs. n, n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by x into x. And you can put this in bracket, numerator slash m i have taken this question just to tell you the usage of math.abs please prepare this right the next one predict the output when x equals to c agar x ki value c hai so you will be doing like this when x equals to c c is written in lower case so when x is c the program control will come to this case it will print best the output will be best in the same case capital or small lower or upper case how it is written it will be printed like that only then after that if you notice here there is no break statement so break statement nahi hai, then that means here fall through condition is there right so it will go into default statement also and here it will print work hard right h is in uppercase so that will be printed please take care of these small things right then second one when x equals to a a is in uppercase and here a is written in lowercase so this a will not be considered for this capital a so none of the matching case is there so it will directly go to default statement and it will print work hard right children please pause the video understand it do it and then resume the video the next one convert the following using if else and also the final answer stored in c here you have to convert this into if else if a less than equals to 90 you will be writing the condition which is given here after equals to after if you have to write that and this is for true expression and this is for false expression. So this value where you are storing in C. 
So here you can say car C equals to Z and else car C equals to M. And don't miss writing INT A equals to 10 over here. And now since you have to, this is first part of this. And the second part also you have to do is to check the value of, to find the value stored in C. So A is 10, 10 is less than equals to 90. Yes, condition is true. So the value of C will be Z, right children? The next question now, predict the output. Long X equals to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 while X is greater than 9 and print three statements are there within the body of while loop. X, the value of X is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is greater than 9. Yes, condition is true. It will go into the loop and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 modulus 10. Modulus 10 will give you the rightmost digit that means 9. So the output will be 9 and a comma will be printed after that. Then x will become x slash 10. Slash sign gives you all the digits except the last digit when you are dividing it by 10. Right? So it will give you 5, 6, 7, 8. Now minus minus x. Minus minus x means the value, this value will be updated by subtracting 1 to this. Right? Minus minus x means x equals to x minus 1. So this answer will be 5, 6, 7, 7. Now it will come here. The loop will come here. Check the condition. 5, 6, 7, 7 is greater than 9. Yes. Condition is true. Then again it will go into the body of the loop. Modulus 10. Modulus 10 will give you what? 7. The rightmost digit. Right? So here 7 will be printed and comma will be printed. Now x equals to x slash 10, 5, 6, 7, 7 slash 10. It will give you 5, 6, 7, quotient part. And minus minus x will be 567 minus 1. So x will be 566 here. Again, control will go back to the beginning of the loop. 566 6 is greater than 9. Yes, condition is true. So 566 6 modulus 10 will give you the rightmost digit. So that is 6, 6 and comma will be printed. And then x equals to 566 6 divided by 10 slash 10 will give you 56. The quotient part and minus minus x will be 56 minus 1. This is equals to 55. Again, the program control will go here, 55 greater than 9. Yes, condition is true. So, 55 modulus 10 will be 5, right? So, it will come here, print 5 here and a comma sign. Then, x equals to x slash 10. 55 slash 10, it will be 5 and minus minus x will be 5 minus 1 equals to 4. Next time again the program control will come here. 4 is greater than 9. No. Condition is false. So now the body of the loop will not be executed. So your correct output is this. This is your answer. Right children? I hope it is clear. Please do it once yourself also. Right? The next question. Give the purpose of using import statement. The import statement can be used to import an entire package or sometimes few classes only. And this statement is optional. Children, sometimes we write import java.util.asterisk, right? You write like this. Or sometimes you write import java.util.scanner. So, scanner is a class which is present in util package. If we want to import all the classes of util package, we write dot asterisk. And specifically, scanner class, we write dot util.scanner like this. And sometimes you have seen when we don't want any scanner class input, we don't write import statement if the values are already given in the question. So import statement is optional, not necessary that your program will not execute at all. Suppose especially in pattern programs, right? You have already the fixed pattern is there. So you don't require any user input. So in that case, we don't use import statement, right children? So for today, this much only. Today, I have not included the program question in this because I was not much satisfied with the way I was presenting it here. 
but uh, definitely we'll do more programs and only programs and few videos all right so if you haven't subscribed the channel till now please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you you may join us on our telegram channel also the link is there in the description box keep practicing keep working hard god bless your children happy learning